G'day everyone, it's Joe here from thekissprinciple.net with your weekly word this week. As you probably would have heard um, in the news um, of the tragedy that's unfolded in America, in Las Vegas, um, so many people um, that have been injured and killed. And you know, when I think about that sort of stuff, my heart really goes out to the families of those people um, in that sort of thing. And it's just something that we've really got absolutely no explanation to. And you know, we see this sort of stuff around the world. If it's, you know, not something like that that's happened, um, you look at terrorism that is, um, that's occurred around the world, um, that's sometimes unexplained. You look at um, people that go through tragedies in their families, people that lose loved ones, I can certainly, certainly um, identify with that. I lost both my parents um, many years ago to that. And you know, for some of these things, we just don't have an answer for it. We just simply don't. We try and work it out and try and explain it all out. But at the end of the day, we just simply don't have an answer. But one of the things that I do have an answer for in these sort of things, and this is certain, and that is that life is fragile. When these kind of um, things have happened in the world, it just continues to reinforce just how fragile and how short life can be. And one of the things that I would like you to take away from this week's weekly word um, is that if you do not know God, you do not know Jesus, May I encourage you that you find out for yourself what having a relationship with God um, is all about. Now, I'm not talking about going and finding it out, you know, second hand or third hand by listening to what, you know, other people have said. But you, yourself, pray. Ask God to show you what it means, um, what it is about having a personal relationship with God, what it is all about, you know? What is a personal relationship with God? What is the gospel all about? What is Jesus? You know, you hear people talk about this. Look, very, very simply, and I've just got limited time to put this on a video this week, but simply, Jesus came, took our place, died on a cross, so that people like you and me, which its heritage, its lineage goes all the way back to the creation of the world. I'm not going to go in depth because a lot of us have heard that sort of stuff. But he took our place so that we have forever um, life, eternal life. We can live with God the Father and Jesus in all of eternity. So, you know, once life finishes here on planet Earth, we have to go somewhere. And the choice is up to us whether or not we go and live with God eternally and, um, and enjoy being in his presence or we go in the opposite direction. And the thing is, we, I always say in, in my videos, you know, go out there, enjoy life, pursue your, your dreams and your goals. That's great. But things in this world will eventually decay, wear out, break, fads change. Um, nothing in this world is certain. But one thing that is certain in this world is God himself, Jesus, his word, that is the Bible, the power of the Holy Spirit. And it says in John 3.16, we heard it um, said so many times, God so loved the world that whoever so shall believe in his son shall not perish but have eternal life you know um, believing that Jesus took our place and believing that with it, with our heart and confessing that with our mouths is all that it takes for you to begin those first few steps in a new direction it will change the course of your life it'll change the course of your your destiny and not only will you get eternal life with God forever but also it's the way that you see things in life that will change. You'll see that death is nothing more than just a passing through from one 
moment in our life, which is here on planet Earth, into the next part of our lives, which is to live with God forever. And uh, may I encourage you guys, you know, in despite of all these, these horrible things that sometimes can occur around the world, if you do not know God, may I just say to you, just um, take that time to seriously consider what it means to have a relationship um, with Jesus Christ. So that's your weekly word this week. As always, don't forget to subscribe to us on this channel, thekidsprinciple.net. Follow us on Facebook and like us on Instagram. Have yourselves a great week. God bless.